again. This is Dick Rochfort, 369 Sierra Tango. On your way into uh, Wick, Scotland, from Reykjavik, Iceland. Uh, we're on our way down now. It's uh, we just begun the descent, and uh, uh, it's looking like uh, I've been doing some flight planning here to uh, get ahead. Uh, after uh, Wick, uh, there was a change in plans. So we're going to uh, Roskilde instead of Aros uh, in Denmark. So. Uh, I've taken the liberty of spending some time rerouting that and then planning the flight back to Manchester from Roskilde. So uh, ha <coughs> having done that with the uh, number two in uh, manual cross fill mode, I'm now going to uh, re-update the, uh, the number two. And uh, I'm going to put the... Uh, change those uh, fields now back to uh, what I need for this part of the trip. Uh, that is, uh, wrong. I want to do, uh, let's see, ETE, estimated time and route, and ETA. I generally don't use ETA except on the North Atlantic because the uh, position reports are easier with the ETA. Now then, um, we are about 30 minutes out of WIC, uh, being there about uh, 15 minutes past the hour. And, uh, the ride over was good. It was uh, smooth and uh, sunny outside. You can see we're still above the overcast. Uh, so uh, it was pretty good. The only uh, pause for concern was uh, we did get a little more headwind than anticipated on this part. I was uh, not really uh, thinking that I'd see uh, the winds as strong as they were. Uh, they're 183 degrees, which is uh, off our right front at uh, 24, and now on the descent, the ground speed's jumped up to uh, 211, which is fine. Um, we have plenty of fuel on board. It's worked out just fine. This is a little shorter route than uh, the other one, so it was, was no issue. And we have the Faroe Islands off to the, uh, to the, the, the northeast if we needed them, but uh, uh, 44 gallons remaining is what it's showing on the computer, and I've updated that. Uh, you do know, of course, with this Garmin, you have to continually update that. We uh, have to look at the fuel quantities left and right to know exactly what's in the tank. I'm showing 54 gallons remaining. And now down here, uh, under fuel usage, is the number of gallons that the computer thinks is remaining based upon initial fuel minus the, the uh, amount used. And amount used, of course, is a function of flow. And so, but the two are not the same. So that's an important point. Uh, it's a little tutorial there. Uh, that's uh, kind of a, a gotcha with the Avidyne. Uh, I otherwise love the Avidyne, uh, but I definitely would have done that differently uh, from an engineering point of view. But uh, it is what it is. So all you have to do is know it and know that once you have 120 gallons in the tank, which, by the way, if you have tip tanks, it won't go any higher. So you have to do the mental math each time. Uh, and then uh, used as a function of that. Well, there you have it. We're in the descent. I'm getting ready to uh, uh, plan my arrival. Uh, they're calling it 3,500 scattered uh, and uh, pretty good weather, actually, down there. I just talked to Scottish FIR and they uh, assured me that the weather was better than forecast. Uh, it wasn't going to be too hot. It was going to be uh, something like uh, 35 knots, but wind currently is 220 at 15.15, uh, greater than 10 kilometers visibility, uh, 3,600 scattered, plus 8 temperature, plus 1, and uh, 979 hectopascals on the meter. So, uh, not a bad day down there in Scotland. Looking forward to it, in fact. So, uh, we'll get, try to get the landing in on this one. Uh, enjoy the ride. I certainly am. Have a nice day. This is Dick Rochfort. 369er Sierra Tango. Remember, fly safely. Train on.